Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be sharing with you and applying onto my face my travel makeup essentials. I've got them all in this Glossier pouch. Yes, they all fit in there. And like I said, I'm just going to be talking you through them, putting them on my face. As you're watching this, I'm currently in Bali. I'm leaving in a couple of days while I'm filming this if that makes sense and I'm super excited. So if you want to keep up to date with what I'm up to while I'm over there then be sure to go and follow me on Instagram because I'll be posting on my stories. I'm also going to be posting outfit pictures and stuff. So first off, prep. I'm not going to be showing you skincare in this video but I am going to be showing you things that I use in my makeup routine. So first off is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. I wouldn't be without this. I love it so much. It's my holy grail lip balm. It is absolutely amazing and it's got a little bit of a sheen so I also just sometimes use this as a gloss on its own or I'll put it on top of a lipstick to make it shiny. It's just an amazing product. And then I carry this in my hand luggage as well but I just like to have a little spray mist on me so I've got the Omravicha, I don't know how to pronounce this but it's the Queen of Hungary mist. I bought this from Cult Beauty, can I speak and spray at the same time? Probably not. Bought this from Cult Beauty, absolutely love it. It is the finest mist I've ever used and it contains orange blossom, rose water and sage water as well which help to tone your skin. So I also use this as a toner while I'm away. So my first product is something that I could not be without in summertime. I love it so so much. It is the MAC Strobe Cream. I've got a little sample here but I'm just going to use the full size version for this video because I've decanted some in here for my little travel bag. So I use the gold one which is called Gold Light. And I just absolutely love this. I only really use this in summertime because it doesn't really work under a heavier foundation. It only really works with light makeup or sometimes if I'm not wearing any makeup at all, I'll just stick a bit of this on. And when it catches the light in the sun, oh my word, it just makes you look so healthy. I really love it. So I just put this on the high points of my face. Anywhere that I want to have a bit of a glow, I put it on my brow bone as well. And... Like I said, when it hits the right light, it just looks so beautiful. I feel like normal lighting doesn't really do it justice. So for my base, in the summer, I love using the Bare Minerals Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This has got SPF 30 in, which is great for when I'm away. And I use the shade Desert, which is like a tan colour. I like this because it's really light on your skin, but it's still gives you a good bit of coverage. I think I've put a little bit too much on here to be fair, never mind. And I would usually use a beauty blender to blend this in, but when I'm away, I tend to take as little with me as possible when it comes to my makeup. So I tend to swerve the brushes and just rub this into my skin. Like it just applies so nicely and it evens out my skin tone so well. I love this product so much. I literally wore it all of last summer. Like, look at that. It literally just looks like my skin, but it's totally evened out and it's balanced my tan. Then for concealer, I brought a couple with me just for when I tan. This is like my everyday concealer. It's the Revolution Conceal and Define in C7, but I have got tan on at the moment and I feel like this might be a bit light, but if I am doing like a nighttime makeup look, I'll probably just brighten up my under eyes with this. But to cover up any blemishes for now I'm just going to use the Sleek Life Proof Concealer in Ristrello, no, Ristretto Bianco and I just really like this concealer as well. Again, it gives me quite a bit of coverage but it is quite light which is great for hotter weather and again I'm just going to pat that in with my fingers. Sometimes I feel like using your fingers to Blend your makeup in is so underrated. I feel like they do such a good job. Yeah, that's my holiday shade. Buzzing, I've tried this out beforehand actually. I thought I'm gonna stick some tan on and see what makeup actually works for me because I've been wearing pale makeup like all winter. So I'm buzzing, I've done that. And then I might actually apply a little bit of the Revolution one underneath my eyes just because it is a bit lighter and it'll brighten them slightly but I only apply a little amount just because I want that really natural skin look so I don't want anything sitting on top of my skin 
so no excess product and I just pat that on top of my eyelids as well just to even out the skin tone. For my powder, recently I've really been liking the Inglot, what's this called? It's the HD Illuminizing Loose Powder. It is so good, it gives your face this sort of radiant glow while also mattifying it and also it's got that nice slim packaging so it fits in a makeup bag really well. So for my holiday makeup I always go for like natural looking skin so I only really place powder where I need it so on my eyelids so that my concealer doesn't crease and then a little bit in my t-zone. In hot weather I really do like to go minimal especially in places like Bali where it's humid because otherwise like a full face of glam is just going to break me out I'm not about that life so if I want to go glam I tend to do it with lip colours and a bit of eyeshadow. For bronzer I've got a few in my collection that I absolutely love I don't really have a holy grail bronzer but the Too Faced Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer is gorgeous for when the weather's warmer because it's got two tones also it's just very kind of glowy but it doesn't kind of add to any greasiness on your skin sometimes I don't like glowy products in hot weather because it can just make you look a bit greasy but this doesn't I wore it last summer and I just really really like it so I just kind of blend those two colors together and apply a little bit onto my cheekbones as well as a little bit on my temples and a bit on the jaw, a bit on the nose. Also, this smells like holiday. It literally smells like pineapples and coconut. It is the nicest scent ever. If you've got any staples in your makeup collection that you just always take with you anywhere you go or if you have any holiday essentials like products that you specifically like for summer or when the weather's warm do let me know down below because I love checking out new products and you guys always give me really good suggestions and then I'm going to go in with this little travel set from Ofra so I love their travel sets they're so amazing I do have a code with Ofra it is an affiliate code and it is it's just Kate for 20% off. I forgot that, but you can use it on their website. I'm not sure if these are available on Beauty Bay. If they are, I'll link these down below. I don't have like a code or anything for Beauty Bay, but obviously it's more easy to get a hold of in the UK. But if it's not and it's only available on their website, then you can get 20% off with my code and I just think this is the perfect palette for traveling. It's got my favorite highlighter ever in, which is Rodeo Drive. I love this peachy pinky blush. It's got a slight glow to it. This bronzer is slightly too dark for me, but I do like using it as an eyeshadow on an evening. When I've got a tan, I like a bit of a brown smoky eye, so I think this is a perfect color for that. But I'm just gonna go in with the blush and the highlighter shades for now. We'll see what I mean about this blush. It just gives you like the nicest kind of healthy glow and I like to put a little bit on my nose as well and on my temples it gives you that kind of I've been out in the sun look like not sunburned but just healthy and a bit kind of yeah basically makes you look like you've been out in the sun I love it and you've heard me talk about this highlight shade like a million times over the years I just love it so much and I tend to just put a bit on my brow bone using the same brush because it gives it more of like a natural look rather than putting it on with your fingers or a more dense brush. And then I just pop a little bit on the end of my nose and then I like to kind of highlight these bits on the side although I don't really need to. Oh my god I've actually just made my nose look massive because that, uh, <laughs> that bronzer was glowy as well. Whoops. Never mind, I put a little bit on my cupid's bow and also what I like to do on holiday, I am such a simple makeup girl on holiday so I like to just take a bit of that on my finger, pop a little bit onto my eyelids, it's just, I don't know, it kind of just looks, it doesn't even look like a gold eyeshadow, it literally just brightens my eyes up and makes them look a little bit bigger and then I put a bit on my inner corner as well. Sometimes I would put a little bit of this shade in the crease. Shall we do that today? Let's do that today. So if we stick a little bit of this in the crease to define it, just is like the most simple 
natural look and like I said if I wanted to go a bit more kind of glam on an evening I would wear this all over my lid and then I would use a little bit of eyeliner so I'll show you the eyeliners that I'm gonna be taking with me. So the eyeliners that I'm gonna be taking with me are the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is just a black felt-it liner. It's in the shade Trooper. It's my go-to for a winged eyeliner look. I don't think I'm gonna wear that today. I think I'm gonna go natural on the eyes, but I also am bringing the Charlotte Tilbury Classic Eye Powder Pencil in, what shade are you? It's just the brown one. Does she do these in different colors? I'll link this one down below along with all the other products that I'm mentioning anyway and if I had gone for the matte brown bronzer on the eyelid I'd have probably just put it on the lid a little bit underneath and just a bit of cold pencil and a wing and some mascara but I think today I might just run this slightly along my lash line just to make my lashes appear a little bit thicker. I love this because it applies so nicely and also because it's brown, it just looks more natural than a black pencil. I really, really like this. Something else that comes everywhere with me, no matter where I go, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil. Mine is in number one. It's just the perfect pencil for so many different things. I like to use it in my waterline just to brighten my eyes up. I also use this if I've done a bold lip and I've been a bit messy, it just cleans it up. I use it to carve out my brows, that reminds me I haven't done my brows yet, but it just, I mean, it's usually like if I'm doing a proper brow, this will help me just clean it up. It's easier than using a concealer and it's quicker. And this also covers really stubborn spots as well. If I've got a spot that just will not be covered, I stick a bit of this on and somehow it just gets rid of it. It's amazing. For my eyebrows, I'm taking my Anastasia Brow Wiz in granite. I use this all the time. I love this so much. I use this on the daily, so when I film videos and when I do makeup looks on Instagram, I usually have a more structured brow, but for day to day, I like using this and I just kind of outline my brow and then just fill it in and it is like the quickest, easiest thing in the entire world and I love the fact that they do this particular shade because it's like a cool toned, really dark brown so it would work if you've got like my hair colour or if you've got black hair I find it so difficult to find cool toned eyebrow pencils usually they're quite warm and they just really show up on me and then I use the Glossier boy brow to set them in place mine is absolutely manky and all of the label is like worn off because I just use this all the time and I use the black shade I just like this you can get that kind of fluffy brow look with this or you can just set them in place like I do so sometimes if I'm going for a super natural look I will just leave it here but if I'm going for mascara and lippy as well NARS Climax Mascara is my go-to. I love it so, so much. It lengthens your lashes out. It thickens them. You only need one coat. It is just an absolute wonder product. I love it so, so much. But also, if you want more dramatic lashes, it's really easy to build up as well. So for lips, I always take three colours on holiday with me and I always take a lip liner to match. I never apply lipstick without a lip liner. I just find it applies so much better if you've got a lip liner on. So for my everyday shade, I'm bringing the Lanolips Tinted Lip Balm. This has got SPF 30 in. Oh, my hand is covered in mascara, lush. Um, yeah, this has got SPF 30 in, which is why I love it, but also it's such a great lip balm. So I like to use this just day to day while I'm by the pool. It gives me a nice tint. It's a bit glossy and it just moisturizes my lips all day. I always like a lip balm with SPF in while I'm away. And if I'm just going for a really natural look, I'll wear this with MAC Saw Lip Liner. I just kind of put this on, fill my lips in with it a little bit, and then put a bit of this on over the top, and it's just a nice, natural, pink, glossy lip. If I'm going for a nude lip, I always use MAC Strip Down Liner with all of my nudes. You can probably tell because it is tiny. I've got a backup one waiting, but 
this is just amazing it kind of just goes with everything and for my nude this time I'm bringing the Too Faced Melted Latex in the shade Hopeless Romantic it's just like a gorgeous kind of pinky peachy nude I love this if you haven't tried the Too Faced Melted Latex it's a liquid lipstick but it's shiny so it's got all the shine of a gloss but all the colour of a lipstick but it's not like too thick and goopy or anything it is just amazing and I always also take either an orange or a red this time it's an orange just because I'm feeling summery this is my favorite orange lipstick ever it's the Too Faced Melted Matte in Mrs Roper it's amazing these are an amazing formula as well they're not drying they last for ages and the lip liner that I'm bringing to go with this is the sleek locked up super precise lip liner in Hot Damn it's a gorgeous warm toned red and it just goes perfectly with this lipstick so I'll probably use this lipstick more than any other on holiday just because I like to do a really simple look and then make it look like I've made an effort by using a bright lipstick. So those are the products that are coming away with me to Bali in my makeup bag. Like I said if you want to keep up to date with what I'm up to while I'm over there then be sure to follow me over on Instagram. Also do let me know what your summer makeup essentials or your holiday makeup essentials are in the comments below. I would love to know and give the video a cheeky little thumbs up if you enjoyed it as always guys also subscribe and do all that stuff if you're not already and i will see you in my next video guys bye